home buyers, it's time to put on your gloves and get out there and smack the crap out of these overpriced sellers. Sellers, you may have to put on your gloves too. Play a little defense. I'm Kendall Trotter, and the May edition of the Las Vegas Real Estate Update starts now. <laughs> Let's get into the data here. Uh, as we can see, the number of units sold right here uh, in April 2019 was 2,872 units. Not bad. It was only 2,621 units in March. Uh, so we have an increase of uh, eh, just 2% or something. Um, but one year ago, it was 2,878. So, a year ago, we sold 2,878 homes, and last month, we sold 2,872. So pretty darn close, only off by six homes. Not bad. So um, that would say, hey, we're in our spring market, and everything's uh, just chugging along, and everything's fine. Okay, that's fine. Our average price of our um, units sold, average price, in April was $344,086. In March, it was $353,010. Uh, not that big of a deal, you know, you get a um, couple heavy sales, you know, a couple million bucks, it can skew the, um, the average sales price. But uh, the good news is one year ago, our average sales price was $333,602 for a gain of 3.1% over a year ago. So that's cool. Um, it's not like 15% a year like we've been seeing in the last couple years, but it is not in the negative. So, uh, you know, fairly good news there. That's, you know, sort of healthy. Um, number of uh, units available without offers. Here's where, as a seller, you should be somewhat concerned. Um, April, we had 7,435 units, and in March, 7,091. So our uh, inventory climbed a little bit, but a year ago, we had 3,816. And last month, we had 7,435, which is an increase of 94.8%. Let's just round it off to 95%. So, as I said uh, last month, there's like double the amount of homes on the market. Now, a lot of this I attribute to investors who bought during the crash, like 2011, 12, 13. They are now unloading some of their investments. And um, I see them in the MLS quite a bit, look up the tax records, and these people are you know, pretty much doubling their money. It was a great investment for them. But now it's time to take their profits and move on. So that is kind of, Good news and bad news. Bad news is for sellers, we've got a lot more to choose from for buyers. Good news for buyers is, well, same thing. You got a lot more to choose from and sellers have more competition, which means you can snag a deal, home buyers. Interest rates are back down. Uh, if you're sitting on the fence, I don't know what you're waiting for. Uh, the rates are good. You've got plenty to choose from and sellers will listen to you. Still a lot of uh, price reductions happening and you know, it's really un, un needed because sellers, if you price your house right from the get-go, especially if you're in a 350 range or under, you should be able to sell it literally within 30 days, no problem. The buyers are still out there as evidenced by how many we sold. We sold just as many this April as we did in April of 2018, which still means a pretty healthy market. So, you know, no matter what anybody tells you, I mean, a lot of realtors will come in, give you any price to, you know, secure the listing. And then a week later, they're like, oh, you need to do a price reduction. You need to do a price reduction. Trust me that it, you're going to get more money if you price it right from the start. Um, I've, I've done this many, 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 many times for many years, and it just always works out that way. Let's jump over to the new home statistics. So as you can see, the latest data available is from March. And we had 792 closings, not bad. 
We had 764 the month before that, which would be February. So that gave us a 3.7% increase, which was cool. But what about this number here? One year ago, we had 1,000 new home closings, which leaves us with a change of tw almost 21% in the red. So new home closings are down almost 21% from this time a year ago. This is probably due mostly to the fact that there is much more resale inventory on the market for buyers to choose from because new home builders were enjoying a surge in sales because of the low inventory of resale homes. Since Now since inventory has uh, climbed back up, more uh, options and choices for buyers. So I think that is what is attributing to this decline in new home sales. So all this other stuff, I'm not even going to get in to it, guys. Uh, you know, this video could be an hour long easily. But for the, the quick snap of things, the market's still doing good. We're, we're not going to see 15% this year. There's no way. We'll probably see somewhere between 4 and 6% which pretty much puts us back to a normal, healthy real estate market. Our town is still growing. We still have a low unemployment rate. And as long as those things stay that way, our real estate market should chug along at a pretty normal pace. Our real estate market as a whole in May 2019 is what I would consider fairly healthy. Uh, the last couple years, we've had extremely abnormal, low inventory which uh, produced multiple offers on most listings. And, and believe it or not, even the, the dog listings were selling and selling relatively quickly. So here's how things have changed. Sellers, please listen. Price your home correctly from day one. It will sell your house faster and you will actually wind up putting more in your pocket. Please do not go, well, hey, let's raise it by 40,000 and see what happens. We can always lower it. Kiss of death. Uh, I gotta tell you, I've just seen that fail so many times. And when, when agents see price reductions, they think, you know, it's like, um, the, it's like the wolf that's injured and all the rest of them attack it, you know. Uh, really, you gotta be healthy from the beginning and uh, you won't get beat up too bad, I promise. Also, buyers. If you've been on the fence, get off the fence, get in your car, and call me. We can get you a deal. There's twice as much to look at as last year. Interest rates are still wonderful. Our town is still growing. It's still, if you're buying a house for your personal residence, it's still a pretty safe bet. Either way, if you want to buy or sell a home or you just want to talk about buying or selling a home, please give me a call. I'd love to help. I'm always working. I'm Kendall Trotter. Thanks for watching this edition of the Las Vegas Real Estate Update. God bless.